So what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning back in. Today we are here with Kenny and Courtney from Life on Beagle Road and we are gonna be butchering or cutting up the pig that we harvested yesterday. Uh, this is not gonna be a how-to video, it's gonna be a we-do video. Uh, I am not a professional butcher, however, uh, we are able to process the meat in a way that it's good for our family and I'm just so happy that I can help them bring food to their family and know where it's coming from it's clean and it's healthy meat and i'm just excited to show you guys how we process pigs and let's get started all right well like we talked about earlier the glands you want to make sure you get all the glands out there's one there was one up in the front there's one underneath and then there is another one Back in the there. hand, yep. Okay. Probably the first thing, you want your leaf fat, the leaf lord. You can render this, you'll have another one on the other side. Render it down and however you want. Make yeah. some pie crust. Yeah. You want to try it for it? Yeah, we work. I can. And then you have your tenderloin. It's underneath, underneath the spine and at the, near the rib cage. You see, just you see, just filleting it off the bone. Cause then we'll end up separating. Whatever, however you guys want your pork chops. Mm -hmm. You could do bone in or bone out. Yeah. I, I like bone in. I always feel like maybe you lose some meat. Yep. But I mean, we'll come to because how whatever to do one thing, you lose something, something else. else. You know what I mean? So like, I was telling Ke Kenny yesterday, like I so to get more thicker bacon, mm -hmm. you I fillet the ribs right, right off of. So okay. like your we main ribs are rib. yeah you only really get the meat in between except for the country mm -hmm. the country ribs basically you're just cutting that that muscle that fascia the basically the white skin because mm -hmm. this is its own muscle group you just take it back that's basically everything for your even your roast is just it's a separate muscle. Yeah, I mean, most of it, like, it makes sense where you take things apart. It's where they're attached. Right. Basically, now I'm going to separate. So you have your ham and your sirloin. I'm going to separate it from your, your ribs. Basically, we'll end up just this and that. Mm -hmm. And you'll get your sirloin. And then, basically, we'll cut this in half. You'll get your country ribs. And then your Boston. Mm -hmm. And then your picnic. Go right there. right in between the bone so then here's your ham and here's your sirloin we'll end up just getting in there right in between the ball joint basically just separate that and then separate the front shoulder from the ribs we just go count like four ribs up so basically you want the armpit And so yeah, so we basically yeah, easy enough. You have your front shoulder, mm -hmm. your loin, your ribs, your belly is underneath the ribs, and that. Here you have your loin, as you can see the sort of whitest pinkish, and then you have your belly. 
with your ribs. Basically, just make a mark. Come to the other side. That way I know. And sort of just make a line and connect the dots. So, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speed up the process a little. Yeah, so then you'll have, you got, we either can, you can either, and technically you can leave it whole if you yeah. want it, then you get your chops. Get these off, yeah. Um, or get your, get a roast, you know, keep a roast, get some chops, or if you want bone out chops, you just bone it off, and then you could have a little, a little rack, like your baby back ribs. Yeah, yeah. You have that. Sweet. Yeah, so now you have your ribs and your belly. And we're gonna end up just filleting the ribs right off. So, I mean, they were friendly, but just not as friendly. Right. And there's a rib, and then here's your beer, your bacon. This is your bacon, which you wow. end up. All right, so here's that hip bone. Here's that joint. And all you're gonna do is, is just fall that meat line, and then you're gonna end up cutting your sirloin right off and that way you have your ham so then once you find that ball joint you have your ham where you can smoke it get your ham steaks uh, or how we do it because we don't have a smoker Basically, we just grind this up for sausage because our family loves just adding sausage to different meals. And then you have your sirloin roast, where if you want to make a smaller roast, you could just cut this in half or just leave it how it is. It would be great in a crock pot um, or however you just want to prepare it. Next thing we're going to be working on is the front shoulder. And here you get your Boston roast with your picnic roast and also your country ribs. And you can further process those pieces into specific muscle groups. Like from your Boston, you can get the Copa muscle where you make Capicola out of. Um, however, for this, for this time, we're just going really basic and we're gonna be slowly learning how to do that because I would love to be able to learn just you know a little bit more culinary, a little bit more specific meat, like making a Capicola. I am working on a prosciutto, however, that's pretty easy. You have your ham, you cure it, and then you let it hang. So right now, all we're gonna be end up doing is basically you cut this right in half. The top part is your Boston, where you can get your Capicola muscle, and then you have your picnic, which is the bottom, and then obviously your ribs. Right now, you want to make sure you get all the glands and here's one for an example and it's just this dark color and you just have all that bacteria and just the animal cleaning out its system you don't want this in the grind pile what we're going to do to end up separating the boston from the picnic Basically, there's going to be two cuts with the saw. We're going to end up cutting right underneath where this curve is. You cut those ribs right in half, pretty much. And then, you use your knife to cut the meat, and you're going to end up cutting right down to the 
shoulder blade. Kind of where this. Yeah, where okay. the line is. Yeah. So now I'm at the shoulder blade. You end up taking your saw again. Get that other bone. Cutting. And then you finish your cut. Boom. So then here you have your Boston roast, where you can debone it if you wish. And then you have your picnic roast, where then we'll fillet off these ribs. Now we'll end up taking these country ribs off. Basically, you just fall that muscle group right here from the shoulder along the muscle. You lift right up and you basically fillet that. Then, just finish your cut along the rib. You got nice little ribs for you. Chops. What we're going to end up just doing is we're going to go along each one and then follow back up and break that spine. So this is pretty much my skill set right here and it's very basic. You have your ham right here. This is your Boston roast which can be broken down into different muscle groups. You have your sirloin roast that's part of your, your back, your butt, and then this is a, a loin roast, which you can make chops out of this. However, um, in this particular case, we're going to keep it a roast. You have your ribs. You have your picnic ham, which can be broken down into further, just like the Boston. And then you have the chops in your belly that can be made into delicious bacon. I think the biggest thing is that there's no wrong way to do it. Um, you know, if you want thicker of ribs, you're just going to lose more of your bacon. However, in this case, we absolutely love bacon around here. So we ended up just filleting the bacon right off the ribs. So the meat that you're going to have with your ribs is just pretty much the meat in between. It's not that it's wrong, it's just how you want your meat to be prepared. Alright guys, I appreciate you tuning in today. We are all wrapped up. The only thing we have to do now is packaging. Now, all this food is going to be going right into Courtney and Kenny's freezer. And this is huge because this elevates where we're at with this farm. Because now, not, we're not just producing food for us. We're helping produce food for others. And community is so important to us because that's what God created us to do. Is to love each other. And this is just a part of it. Helping each other you know, grow and provide food is awesome. So once again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch our lives. And if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and don't be afraid to leave comments. And we will see you guys around. Hit that subscribe button.